bad news, especially for those people still cleaning up from the storm damage in Bamberg, Riley. Absolutely, guys. High confidence. We do see rain and thunderstorms. The, the question mark is if they turn severe. It's going to be conditional on if our atmosphere is just uh, uh, unstable enough to produce those severe storms. We are still keeping the first alert. That goes for everybody. I would imagine it's still a windy day along with those storms. We do have a wind advisory that will be in effect tomorrow afternoon through at least Saturday morning, and that is for gusts up to around 40 miles an hour. This is our tornado outlook. So earlier this week on Tuesday, we were at 10% risk. Uh, for places like Bamberg that did see that tornado. So this time we're at a 5% risk, half the risk, but still it is not zero. So I want you to make sure you have a way to receive those alerts tomorrow afternoon. We are starting to see those storms really erupt ahead of this system through uh, Arkansas all the way into th uh, southern Missouri, eastern Texas. This is just going to continue pushing eastward as we head into tonight in the afternoon. I wanted to pause this. So this is our tornado parameter. So where you're seeing uh, these values, that's where there's ingredients for tornadoes to form. This is 4 p.m. tomorrow afternoon. All those ingredients are south of I-16. So I'm not really anticipating much of a tornado threat until we get to after this time frame. Once we get between say 4 and 8 p.m., that's when we start to bring in these tornadic ingredients. Now it is favoring areas south and mainly well east of I-20. So for us here in Augusta, we're on the fringe. I would say our southern counties and eastern counties have that highest chance. So unfortunately, places like Bamberg, once again, they're going to be the last places to see those storms when that environment does look most conducive uh, for those storms to really kind of reach their peak. All that pushes out by 8, 9 p.m. And then as we head into our Friday night and into the weekend, we'll get back to dry weather. Temperatures will get pretty chilly, though. Here's our wind alert. So wind advisory in effect for pretty much every CSRA county except for Jenkins, Screven, and Allendale. Uh, everybody's going to exceed wind gusts over 30, potentially could get close to 40 at times. The wind's really going to be picking up, mainly as those storms get closer. So it's going to be mainly after sunset Friday is when we start noticing fairly breezy conditions across the area. It's the last through Friday night. So in the wake of those storms, trying to clean up if there is anything, it is going to stay pretty breezy again, kind of like what we saw on Tuesday. Once we head throughout the day Saturday, a little bit gusty into the morning. The later we get into the day, the wind does start to improve for us. Now temperatures, this is what's going to be uh, kind of determining if we do see the severe storms or not, how much we can warm up. We're going to drop down to the 30s tonight. It's going to be a pretty cold start to our Friday morning. We're going to stay cloudy. The rain chances will start to go up once we get to around 11 a.m. to around noontime. And then the severe weather threat, remember, would be much later into the afternoon, potentially even a couple of hours after sunset tomorrow. That's when the storm chances do look highest for us. Here's the way it's playing out on our hour by hour. So clear skies right now, but cloudy conditions by the morning temps in the 30s. There's that rain starting around midday, and then here's the storm showing up a little bit later. Our temps still anywhere in the 50s, not likely to be severe where they're in the 60s. That's where there's going to be a little bit higher potential. So this will be with us up until 8 p.m. Make sure you do have your cell phone charged up. Have a way to receive those alerts tomorrow afternoon. Luckily, we're good to go by the weekend and then fairly cold temps expected next week. Republican House members are threatening to force a government shutdown. If